class is in session, the professor is in, what's happening y'all? I have a remake of Wade Barrett, the Barrett Barrage. So this is going to be my 2.0 video, or we can call this class the Barrett Barrage 201, Volume 2. So we're going to do a couple of move sets. The first one is going to be courtesy of uh, Goldie and with Shadow Demon as well. Uh, if Action made uh, sending this along. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the Diving Elbow. We're going to do that one, increase your black MP by six. Uh, and then we're going to use the sub, the chokehold, and then that makes the trap gems. And then after the trap gems, we're going to turn them into purple gems. We're going to use this one because if our opponent breaks it, we are going to get three black MP for each time that they break it. And if we break them, then we're just going to deal some more damage. And these are just going to recycle themselves out. It's going to work fantastically. Not going to work fast, but it's going to work fantastic. So we have two options with this, um, and it's up to you how you want to run this. When it comes to feud, um, unless you were in the top row, and if you have him right now and you're going to run him in the top row, uh, then you wouldn't need this here. Um, and if you, it depends on if you want to run purple gem damage or if you want to go sub. So if you want to go purple gem damage, um, then you would run something along these lines. Or you can just go completely super sub for the feud uh, and put in all sub trainers so that way his sub would do uh, closer to 400,000 um, per turn, uh, give or take. So those are your sort of your two options. So if you do get him for feud, um, then I would suggest running him differently. But in general, this is probably closer to what you would uh, use him. Once you get this up to 21k, this will actually be 12k more purple gem damage. So it's gonna do a little bit more damage than what you're going to see here. But we'll run it this way for, uh, just for show off sort of uh, purposes. One thing, if you got an all heart plate here, you can just keep on stacking the damage over and over and over again. We do have Fury 2s, uh, and this is 148%, I believe, at this point at level 12 for purple move damage. Um, so we're doing about 236% uh, damage uh, on those gems if we get the All Hearts plate going off. But you get the idea. So let's check out Barrett. And if you saw my last video, you knew how much trouble I was given by Ricochet. Not anymore, Ricochet. Not anymore. Unless you dodge. Then you'll give me trouble. But you get the idea. That was a little bit loud. We should turn down my volume there, and I should speak a little bit louder. So here we go. Turn one. We're gonna hit the purple move. That is going to load up our moves. Since it's only a four charge, if you got the top row of this feud, this will be charged turn one, and that way you can just go straight into the sub. So decrease his moves, obviously. These are gonna turn into traps. He's gonna break some of our traps. He did not break any of our traps. That's never fun. Uh, so this time around, let's just break a black move right there, so that way we have ours ready to go next turn. He did not cascade out of his turn. This is ridiculous. With that much pin board left, he did not cascade. That's the most incredible thing I think I've ever seen. rough over most of his stuff. All right, here we go. And now we're going to hit these traps into purple gems. It's going to load up our move, and then we just start over again. Hopefully, my goal is to show you a much bigger hit <laughs> the second time around uh, than the first time around. We'll hit those traps right there. We'll do it again next turn. Even when things go wrong, they can sometimes go right. All right, see that time he hit our gems. And so now we are completely full again. So we have the choice here to break them all or we can hit this again. And so this is sort of the 
the cycle that you can have. So you can keep hitting the sub, and every time you hit the sub, you're going to keep buffing these purple gems. And as long as he keeps breaking our gems, then our purples will be, or our black move will be full. And our purple gem damage now is 112,000 per cycle. So let's buff that even more. He's going to pin us, but that's okay. We'll take that one out of the way. Our purple gem damage is now 129%. We'll do it again. You can just see what I mean. That you can just keep buffing this over and over and over and over again until you're just tired of it. And as you're doing the sub, we're just going to keep hitting him with the sub over and over again as well, too. We are now at 145k, so what does that mean if we get all 20 of them hit? It means we hit for 5.88 million that he's not going to kick out of. So you can see how just uh, how devastating this move set could be with gem damage. Uh, we also could have just easily choked him out with the sub with added sub damage as well too. So you have two options there. Depends on what you want to use. Let's go check out the revamped stun move. So for the next move set, we are going to uh, put in the the stun moves again. We're also going to put in the finisher, and we're also going to make the the trap gems as well. So if you saw the other video, you know how all of these work. Uh, but we're going to make these leech gems into red gems. So we're going to buff red gem damage. The two turns. It is now a two times stun. That's the change that was made. Um, after yesterday so now we have an opportunity to stun for longer to allow the two turns of this belly to back suplex do its magic um, I did not show what the moves do themselves so the, the belly to back um, is going to make pyro gems on the bottom row and then at the end of the countdown it's going to turn those pyro gems into purple gems and then you can then uh, hit the the finisher make those leech gems the pyros will turn to leech. The leech gems will then be broken by the finisher, and we start all over again. So in a feud, if you have a matching perk, uh, I've put this on here so we can stun lock basically forever. So have more red gems on the initial board. As long as there's a red match, we're good to go. Two times the move points for that match. Start with red gems in general, and then as much red gem, leech gem, any kind of gem damage or move damage, it's entirely up to you, but I like to go gem damage because that's where the new meta is heading. Um, you can also put on uh, a different plate here as well too. We'll leave the all hearts. There's nothing, no reason to change it now, but you could put, actually, while we're sitting here, we could probably could have tried this a lot earlier too. Uh, whenever you make six or more leech gems, increase your purple gem damage uh, for 75% for one turn. You could put something like that on there, but we're breaking red gems, so it's not really gonna help. So we'll just leave it what we got. Let's just hit what we can hit. You can make, you know, you can put a, a plate that uh, break, um, I think it's what the rock is cooking, uh, break red, get uh, purple. And of course I don't have a red match on turn one because that's the way the streaming goes. So we've we've made, uh, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll show you how it would work even if you don't have a red match. Two turns. One turn. busts almost everything and then we hit the finisher and all of our moves are loaded again it's going to turn all these leech so we're going to heal ourselves so this build right here so that hit over three million he's going to kick out he's going to put all his moves out there which is fine he can he can do what he do but it doesn't matter we're going to heal ourselves and if we had a red match we would have a stun lock turn one that's really the kicker for for us that's what we want going forward uh, let's break that. And now we have the same problem. Again, no red match. But that's okay. Uh, we hit that. We hit this. We will take a purple match. And unfortunately, it's going to break them all. 
we're going to lose our turn. So he's going to get a turn out of all of this again, which is fun. And then we'll hit the finisher, we'll heal ourselves. And we'll get the stun off. So that one's going to hit for less, but we, we're completely healed. And next turn, we hopefully have a red match. I'm actually going to go through this entire match without getting a red match that I need. Alright, so this cycle through, we were actually unlucky. We could have stun locked forever if that was the case. I'll show you what I mean. You can see how the stun lock would work. Put the juggernaut down, we've done the stun, one match, and now the next turn, guess what? Back was on the bottom. We have ourselves another stun for two turns, and now he's stun locked. And we can put this on the board. But since he's out of since he's out of life, it don't matter so much. for a couple more turns so another red match would finish that would get us back into stun lock and what do you know we got the finisher turn these all into red he's done and we are back again at full health so we controlled we had the stun we could have made a stun lock if given the right board setup that was just a poor board setup and we ended it with full health so you can see what a difference it makes just having that one extra sub turn So that's it. That's that's Wade Barrett. Now that uh, two very viable move sets, uh, not the flashiest, not the fastest, but definitely a very effective poster that you can use uh, in the game. Uh, let me know what you think of the new changes of Wade Barrett, the Barrett Barrage, in the comments. Like, subscribe, share the usual mumbo to the jumbo. Class is over. Thanks for coming on in, Professor. Out. <laughs>